PCWI Porosity Holiday Detector. The instruments and support you need for your industry. Porosity Holiday Testing Information. The things you won't know, should know, then may be better off not knowing. PCWI manufactures a vast range of brushware to suit holiday porosity detectors, including a wet sponge. The wet sponge unit. This is a low voltage wet sponge test you would create the sort of floor you want to find. A low voltage wet sponge test would only find floor number one. That would also be dependent on the floor's diameter, coating thickness and the floor's capability of being wetted out. If you are satisfied with that result then the low voltage wet sponge test may be suitable for your project. That is providing you can get back to revisit a few years later to evaluate the coating system and or to carry out repairs. This test does not guarantee a floor free coating system depends on what a floor is I think maybe you should look at the small video we've done on low voltage wet sponge testing its use and its history before I need go any further high voltage detectors pulse DC DC direct current constant current unit laboratory controlled humidity test at 33 and 75 percent length of spark discharge test at varying humidities. We've set up a small test jig enclosed in a chamber so as we can control the humidity we will have a look at the 10 kV high voltage discharge. The air gap has to be started wide and then reduced until the spark breaks over. During these tests the ionized air needs to be purged as it's easier to pass a voltage through it. That's why it's easier to find a flaw on the second pass but that's not the only reason. Pinhole before testing and after testing. The pinhole after testing is charred and carbonized. When carbonized is more easily found on subsequent passes. Control laboratory spark gap test. 33 and 75% humidity. Controlled airflow, exchange airflow, voltage 10 kV DC, discharge point sharp as in brass bristle, earthing plate flat. Spark gap jump 33% humidity, 8.4 millimeters. Spark gap jump, 75% humidity, 9.3 millimeters. So does this finding mean that you increase the test voltage at lower humidities by 10% or so? Comparison of spark gap lengths in air between brass wire bristle brush, coils, square section wire, and carbonized rubber strip probes. This is the setup and it was carried out at 50% humidity. The applied voltage 10 kV. Air gap reduced to arc over. Brass wire bristle brush 8.8 millimeters, 1.14 kV per millimeter. Coil square section wire 5.1 millimeters, 1.97 kilovolts per millimeter. Carbonized rubber strip 3.3 millimeters, 3.33 kV per millimeter the gap that is created by a longitudinal weld this air gap needs to be bridged before you even get to the coating here you have a circumferential weld you can see the air gap once again needs to be bridged when testing a pipe's longitudinal circumferential weld and spiral welds take into account that result anything that lifts the coil into the air by two millimeters would need an extra 4 kV to test that area even worse when using a rubber probe a brass bristle brush lays in the gaps much much better than a coil or a rubber strip probe tested a 4.3 millimeter thick pvc sheet with one millimeter holes drilled in it a new hole drilled for every test increased the voltage with every pass until the floor was found brass wire bristle brush at 45 degree angle 10 kv coils square section wire 13.1 kv carbonized rubber strip at 45 degree angle 13.6 kV. To find a hole in the test pieces consistently that is every time you would need to add 10% additional voltage. Note that is a hole to the bare steel substrate with no dielectric strength on the coating. You may notice that the voltage to find the floor is a lot higher than the voltage required to bridge the gap in free air. The coil free air test was 1.97 kilovolts per millimeter. Multiplied by 4.3 millimeter, test material is 8.5 kV to go through the hole. In the test material instead, it took 13.1 kV. It took one and a half times more voltage to find the hole. You may notice that the brass bristle brush found the hole at 10 kV. That is twice X2 as much as its free-to-air test. Although it found it at 
3.1 kV less than the coil and 3.6 kV less than the rubber probe. Test it 0.5 millimeter thick PVC sheet with one millimeter holes drilled in it. New hole drilled for every test. Increase the voltage with every pass until the floor was found. Brass wire bristle brush at 45 degree angle 1.25 kV. Coil square section wire 2.5 kV. Carbonized rubber strip at 45 degree angle 2.2 kV. To find the hole in the test piece consistently, that is every time, you would need to add 10% additional voltage. Note, that is a hole to the bare substrate with no dielectric stress on the coating. So do these tests indicate that you need to use a brass bristle brush on all the irregularities or just use brass brushware on all surfaces? Now you've seen why I say a brass bristle brush is the best probe to use. Everything else is just a shortcut. On the 500 micron coating found the hole at 1.2 kV using the brass bristle brush. It took twice as much voltage 2.5 kV to find the hole with the coil. Tested the 500 micron film with 30 kV and could not make a burn through. This leads me to the following. The formula of 125 volts per mil for our using a brass wire brush would only find the floor through to the substrate. Or should I say maybe finding a floor exposing the substrate. Changing to a coil or rubber probe, you would not find it. Coating dielectric strength test. Pass the brush over the surface keep increasing the voltage until it burns through. Depending on the coating type and thickness, you may find that you do not have enough voltage available to burn through. You need to establish what the true breakdown voltage of the specified coating is to be comfortable with what test voltage that you are applying to the coating system. Set test voltages. You need to apply enough test pressure on the coating in the way of a percentage of its total dielectric strength as a test that would find all flaws in the coating. A spark leaves a sharp edge better than off a flat surface. Look out for probes that lay flat parallel to the surface. They need more volts to leave. Like rubber probes, they also have higher resistance. Probes that have gaps in them, gaps increase the need for the spark to travel further. Coil condition. Check all coils for correct length, misalignment, steps up at the ends, gaps, rust and coating contamination. Brush condition. You need to keep them in better condition than what these here are. With all the environmental issues to contend with today, no one needs premature coating failure. Corroded or pitted steel that can be environmentally difficult and very costly to repair. Leaking or ruptured tanks and pipelines can leave everlasting environmental disasters. It's a different world we live in today. Maybe it's time to do a rethink on the level of testing that's needed for the future. PCWI porosity holiday detector probes, flat brushes, rolling pipe brushes, internal and external pipe brush special requirements made to water coils high voltage leads earth leads probe extensions adapters to suit all brands contact sales at pcwi.com.au